Hello and welcome to the ATMA syllabus from beginners all the way to the first dan grading. So, first of all, what we work through, look at is going into the chariot position uh, for stick work. So, chariot remember is your feet together, hands by your sides. Uh, so, it's the attention position. So, you can see here on the right profile, right upside there. Okay, I'm having the stick straight up the side of my body. The red band indicates the right right hand side, so the stick goes to the right hand side of your body. There. Okay, so and then once you're there, you bow and then you would go to chumbi once you've finished bowing. So chumbi from the front. Twist it through, so across, feet together. Hands by your sides, bow, and with the Korean style, you always bow and face down. You do not face forwards. And then back to Chumbi. Okay. So the next thing that we were looking through, this is for the ninth gup, yellow belt. So the stick is in my right hand, as it is my preferred side. If your preferred side is your left, you can either put your hand, as I have, in the centre of my body here. Or you can put it around the back. The idea behind it is to keep my elbow out of the way when I spin it across. If I have my arm at the side, I'm more likely to get it. Also, feet together. This will help when you spin it through not to hit your shin or even worse, in the groin. So as you can see from here, I, I pull it up so I'm going to get it to a vertical position. And I'm concentrating at the top of the stick. So I'm looking at the top. Okay. Once you get more used to this, just like anything you can do without looking at it, but just to give the idea, I'm looking at the top of the stick here, and then I'm going to bring this top side down, spin it around the back of myself, and across, and spin it back up. So it's going to be that one top there, so you just concentrate on one side rather than both. My thumb is now pointing up, so my little fingers at the bottom here, but my thumb is at the top there. This is going to help me rotate. So as you can see, I bring it across. Okay, so give myself plenty of space. And I watch it again, concentrating on the end of the stick there. Bring it down. So my right hand, I bring the tip to my right uh, left ankle, and then I bring it backwards behind myself, up, and then all the way across. there okay now from this position here my wrist has to be loose and I'm holding it my thumb and my index and middle finger still bringing it up bring it back to the level of my body and now this is a point here where I start to relax my grip with my hand so I'm going to bring it across myself and then bring it behind and then back up and across and keep that momentum going so you see how my hand is open. This is going to allow it to spin through my wrist there. Again, the idea is that you, the stick is in your hand, but you're not holding it tight like you hold, like you would hold a hammer. Or you just want to keep the momentum of the stick. You using the, the speed and the momentum of the stick to control the movement, not your arms. So up and down. There we go. So we just keep that going there, start nice and slow, and allow it to roll through that position. Okay, we're now changing the hand. So if I bring it back and move. Okay, this is the more advanced change. You can just pass it straight over to your hand, but the more advanced change, you can see, you can put your hand on top or the bottom. Okay. But you have to be consistent on both sides, otherwise you end up working up the stick one side or working down the stick the other. And then you have the stick unbalanced. So my right hand is there and my left hand goes underneath. There. And I pass it over. So my hand is ready to go. So I'm not going to get to here and have my left hand, the one that doesn't have the stick, all the way across to this side here. Okay, it's ready underneath to catch as it goes through. Then I want to bring it across, 
and then I'll, after I've done a couple of spins to get used to it and then I'll get ready to change the other hand so we're working both sides so again this time I've passed it on top but it's going to still keep it in the middle because I'll be consistent with that so right hand in through change there so you can see hand underneath bring it over let go with my right hand getting ready to catch with my left again no tension in my shoulders my hips or anything like that the more tension I have the harder it will be to get my arms in line to grip pull it and then there as soon as I feel it I then grip hold of it and then I shall pass it across so you just keep that momentum going there I'm ready to pass it through. So this time I'll pass it underneath. Again, as long as you keep your hand in the centre of the stick, it's good there. Right now, two-handed. So the basic two-handed, you have both thumbs, my right and my left, pointing up. There. Okay. So then I push and pull. So one hand does the work. So my right hand will do the work pushing to my left, and then my left hand will do the work pushing to my right. Just so you can see my hand position, as you can see from there, right hand is on top, left hand is underneath, and both thumbs would be pointing upwards there. Okay, This is a good way to start with a double handed, it's very easy, in terms of you're able to put this into a bong form for competition or anything like that, so you're adding the spins in. The problem with this is that you have to go from this position here into a block which is usually the follow-up from this position uh, then it's going to be very difficult because you have to let go of the stick to go into the low block position because your arms won't be in the right position okay but it's a good way to start to get that figure eight right so now from here this is the more advanced this is what I call the double roll so you get the roll on both sides. With the other one, it's slightly uneven. You get an extra roll on one side compared to the other because one hand's on top and one's not on the other. Now, so my right hand, you see I've got my finger pointing to overemphasize it. I bring my right hand up and over and towards my elbow. There. See, look how my arms are crossed. Okay, and now I've pushed my hip out and I've bent my knees to allow myself to roll through. And I bring it all the way up. There. Now my right hand, you see this is this arm here, is going to pull it backwards this way, and my left hand is going to push and follow it. So unlike the last one where one hand pushes one direction, the other hand pushes the other direction, this one you're pushing and pulling continuously. So I bring it up, over, and I tuck it in. See, so look how close I get my arms across. So the stick is touching the back of my arm, and there, and I'm looking across. I've got to turn my head to help myself move. If I keep my head still, my body won't move. Through across, up and over, through across, up and over. And it's used to getting that momentum, and then you can pick up the speed. Okay, and importantly, in holding finger and thumb from there. So that's the start position. There. Now, I'm not doing this in front, I'd be doing this around the side, but just so you get the idea of how far your arms got to come across to make this effective, okay, I've got to get that stick touching this hit here. If I create too much space, my whole body's going to be off balance and it's going to be really difficult to do it properly. So it comes up and over and there. Again, you don't have to do this for ninth cup, it's just one of those different ways. If you have got used to doing the, the other method, and he's got another method to practice here. So look, I took it all the way across. So my left hand this time has come all the way over, down. And look, I'm looking at where I need to be going with the stick. This is going to help my body move more effectively rather than keeping it rigid and work against myself. And my right hand, see my left hand stays on the spot. My right hand now has come all the way around. So if I roll this back a bit. So I've got the first position there. My left arm, this one, stays on the spot. And now my, if you watch my right hand, you can just about see the red band comes all the way over. Then I start to 
push it backwards. So I'm going to follow that round. So you, I'm using my finger to overemphasize the movement. And cross, and you see I've taken under myself, and look how far I'm looking round, and my knees are soft. Cross there, and then once you get used to that, you can then start to pick up the speed, and you see how much the the effect it changes to it there. So again, from the front one, two. So or it looks because of the way it's moving, or it looks like you're spinning it a lot faster than you actually are. Okay, so that's the figure of eight for yellow belt, ninth gup. We don't have any weapons work for tenth gup, which is white belt, yellow tag. So this is the first point that you will need for this. Next one we have is the eighth gup, which is the low block on the spot. So this is for the you going to orange belt. Okay, so the basic methods. So there's going to be three different ways you can do this. There's the pull up, high block and tuck. Then there's a spin over the head. And then there's the roll through, which makes you use your hips a lot more, makes it more powerful from your shoulder. So I bring it up. Okay. My right arm is going to go in front and my left hand is going to go behind. So if you look, if like I'll move there. So it's straight above my head. This makes it a little bit easy to move. And my left hand goes backwards, right hand goes forwards. And I'm going to pull them in line. Then I'm going to chop straight down. So it's more about getting, teaching yourself where your arms need to be. And as this comes down, so look, I just bring it across a little bit. So my right arm is across my body and it's actually touching my body. And my left arm is extended out and it's, the stick is on my left hand side. You can see because my right arm has the right band, red band on it. Then I've got to go to the other side. So with this grade, you do it stack with your feet on the spot. So I'm going to bring it back up above my head, across, and tuck down. So now it's on my right hand side. So my right arm is on the outside. Left arm is across my body, touching my body. Right arm is forwards there and everything uh, the sticks on the right hand side so bring it up right hand across and down bring it up left hand goes in front right hand goes backwards take it down And there you can just go straight across. Up, oh, across. So that's is the more advancements that are what are called level two. So you just circle it up over around your head. So again, if I play this backwards, there. So I've got the low block position. I bring my left hand up, around, and across. And then once I've got above my head, I'm going to start pushing my left hand across myself and my right hand is going to then extend it out. There. Up, around, across. Same thing from the side. So come up, around there. So you can see when my hand goes above my head, this position here. Okay, so it's a slightly quicker method. If you find the first one easy, then start working on this one. And then once you've got this, then you can move on to the next one. Okay, now the more advanced method. So we bring that back and move from there. So my right hand is going to go straight up here. And my left hand is going to follow. So the stick is going straight up and over. Then it's going to whip across. Now this gets you to use a lot more of your body weight into it. So it will make the block a lot more powerful than when they're sort of flicking it in. So, look, so my right hand has gone straight back. And if I slow this down a bit. You can see my right hand comes all the way through. And I keep it high. My left hand is by my ear. My right hand is in front. Now I'm going to whip this straight across. There. 
So look at that. So my left hand is going to pull into this and my right hand is going to push that way. And that's across. So my right arm's across my body there and I've finished into the low back position. Now I've got to reverse it. So my left hand is going to come up and all the way around and my right hand is going to go to my left ear. Okay, so you have go across my elbows in front of my face here, and then I'm going to whip it across. So I'm going to push, uh, pull my left hand across, and push my right hand out down to here. So it goes right across. So you can see a lot more of my body moving with this one. Right hand goes through, left hand goes up, and then down and across. Put it through and up, down and across. And from the side, right hand up through and across, and right hand, there we go, across again. Okay, so that's the low block on the spot. Next one we have low block moving forwards. So just try and like think about like, all the other basics at this sort of level. It's always the same arm and leg forwards. So we can have your left arm and leg move forward first. So again, not as normal, go back to the chumbi. So my left foot steps out. Pull the stick above my head. So this is level one. Okay, and then I'm circle it round and down. Now I'm going to step to the other side. So I'm going to pull it up first, then step with my feet to help my, get the breaking up of the coordination. So my, then my left hand is going to come across. Right hand is going to whip down. I want to try and get my foot and my stick to finish it at the same time. Again, up above my head. Step and whip, sink into the stance. Now I've got a turn. So again, in line working gradings, this is usually done in fives. So before I turn, I'm going to look over my right shoulder. My right foot's going to come across. I'm going to bring it up and round above my head, give myself a second to finish it. So you see it's above my head. Then my right leg is forwards. So it's my right hand is going to be the one that's in front and the stick is going to go from here across to my right hip. There. Okay, now you can see from the back here, you see how I've got it across there and up in, tuck into to my back. Okay, so I don't have it sort of down on my hip here, so it's almost pointing forwards like a gun. Put it up. Left leg goes forwards, right hand under, left hand in front. Again, step, tuck. Now get a turn. My left leg comes across, above my head, right hand across and down. Now from here we're going to go straight through. So bring it, tuck it around and straight through across. And again, up, circle around the head and down. Circle around the head and down. So you notice the second hand goes further back than the first hand. Now the left leg comes across. And down. And again. Bring it across and down. Across and down. One more across and down. Step, look over my left shoulder, left foot comes across, goes round, sticks on my left hand side, left hand in front, right arm across the body. Now, we're going to go for the advanced twist through. So again, my right hand goes to my left ear and flick across. And as you see my belt, as I whip this in, 
start to move a lot more. Again, because I'm doing this controlled so you can watch it, I'm not going as fast as I can. You turn, as I bring this up, I've got to bring my left hand to my right hand side and flick down. And again, right foot forwards, right hand to left ear, whip across. You can see with the red band from my right arm. Again, bring it up and across, whip it in. Look, tuck it up, across there. Now, because you are doing a small step, and you're doing a fast hand movement, remember you've got to move the stick pretty fast to get the timing with your feet and your arms. And there. Okay, right, so then what we have next is low high. Again, keeping the same arm and leg forwards, this is about rechambering. Okay, this is the build up to working towards bong form two. So from here, very simple. So we've got the same setup above my head, tuck, and then I'm, from here, I'm going to bring it round and just flick up into the face. So it's a very light flick from this position here. I'm not using my hips on my body, but to get the idea of what you, the stick has to do to the face. Now, from there, I'm going to go the opposite way. So I bring it up, right leg steps forwards, comes across. So you can see my right arm is on the outside again, sticks on the right hand side, left arm's across. Then I'm going to circle this round up as if I'm hitting the side of the head. So imagine either blocking there or blocking a shot to the head or hitting them in the leg and then hitting them in the side of the temple. There. Okay. You can decide what, what you want to do with it. So up, tuck, bring it across, hit the head or block the stick. Now I've got a turn, so I look over my right side. My right foot's going to move across. Tuck it underneath my right arm. There, and I circle up and round. And again, left leg forwards, up, across, and in. Right leg forwards, up, across, and in. I'm going to do one more. So above my head, tuck, and across. Look. Set so round, so again, they're getting that breakdown of pull it above my head, down, and then circle it round. Now from here, I'm going to circle it straight through, so not stopping, round, and across. Now look at the difference of how much I put into the stick. So because now I'm coming round to there, so it's wider, I have more of a load up to come across and hit the head. Okay, so it can be a more powerful block, it can be a more powerful strike. So we're not trying to think about the coordination of where our arms and legs are. We're more comfortable now, so we're going that a little bit bigger. Just the same as before, tuck it up around, across, use my body, and there. So I'm again mainly just using my hips and my arms in this one. Across, and turn, right foot comes across to the outside, here, and circle it around and there. Low, whip across, high. Low, whip across, and high. One more. Low, whip across, and high. Again, when you're practicing these, try and get as many of these in as you can. I'm trying to just demonstrate the idea of the technique. Okay, right, now the more advanced method. So, this is when I whip it up to my shoulder. Let's go from here, so look, bring it across, pivot there. So if you look, so now I'm using a lot more of my body weight to whip through. This would be more of trying to be like a devastating strike. So look how I pivot my body and I bring it back and I set into my stance and I tense my body completely so my stick doesn't end up flying across here uncontrolled. I bring it up. So that I've got that big cover position. Okay, my foot's going to go through. See so my foot slightly turned in. I'm going to just a little bit slower this one. Drop it down. So I go right across into it as heavy as I can, and then I bring it across there. So my foot's pivoting that way, knees that way, and then I'm going to go straight across. So rather than being the big circle going up and around this way, definitely not doing a weird loop like that up around this way, I'm going more direct, so I'm going down, 
back of myself up. Down, back of myself, and up. Tuck it up into my shoulder, accelerate into the move, drop my hips into it, bring it across, and up. Now I've got a turn, so I'm going to look over to my right. Right foot's going to shift across. Bring it all the way up, whip it down, diagonally across, and up. So using that power of the rebound and the pivoting to go through the move. So low, and watch the shift there and across. So I'm using as much of my body weight to make the stick move as possible. So I'm putting my body weight into the stick. My stick's not making my body weight move. Down, cross, up. Down, across, up. Look round. Low, up, high. And that is the sixth cup green belt requirements. Now we have the fifth cup green belt one red tag. Now this is low, high, side, side. So, from here, I'm bringing it up so you get the basic method down, across, just as we've done previously, and add a side strike. So, from here, once we've got there, I'm going to tuck that there. So, you see the back of my hand, so imagine a right hand back fist going to come right up, and then to get the circular motion, I'm going to tuck this round and in. So, my left hand is going to go to my side as quick as I can, pull it in. Flick, and then push across. So my right elbow is going to pull back. Left arm is going to get extended out. Now just think about this as like a front punch. What we do it all the time in basic form one, basic form two, whatever. Okay, if I pull this back tight here, then this left arm will go out. Because they're connected through the stick, they will go in a slight circular motion as I push out. Now, this is where a lot of people struggle with. When my right leg is forward, the next technique... I have to start with a low block with the same arm and leg forwards. So I have to step, pull the stick up, and tuck it under. See, so I go straight into it. So again, bring it back. So that's the finishing move. I bring the stick up. Tuck it under. I go straight into the low block. So now my right arm is forwards, right leg is forward, and the stick is on my right hand side here. Left arm across my body. Circle it round. Now, this right hand's got to go back to my hip. Left hand is going to go forward. Now, the stick is around the back of my body. You'll see this more when I face the other way. Okay, so I can't just push it through myself. So I've got to bring this left hand forwards, then round. Forwards, then round. Side, and then the opposite side. So again, right hand pushes forwards. Left arm's going to pull back. Above my head, tuck it under, circle it round, side strike, and then right arm side strike there. Just as before, when I turn, I'm going to look and give myself the time to work above my head, tuck underneath my right arm, so about the right arm, and then I bring it round. Now, if you can see from here, the stick is on my side, so I can't push it straight forward, so I'm going to flick it forwards. Then tuck it round. Flick it forward. See if I go back. You see how I give my body a little bit of space. So I go around. And then I've got space to then pull this backwards as quick as I can without hitting myself. Remember, side strikes always to head height. And then switch across. So again, I've got that in line. Now my left leg's going to step forwards. Down, up, left hand side, right hand side, because left leg's forwards, so I finish on the opposite side. Right leg goes forwards. Up, circle it round. Side, side. One more, up, tuck down, side, side. 
And just as before, my right arm's back, so I'm going to look over there. Right foot comes across. Round. Up. Side. Side. Okay. Now, circling round. One. Two. Three, so now I'm pushing my hip a bit more, push my hip the other way a bit more. So again, putting a bit more body weight in it. So I know how to do the technique now, I'm comfortable. So now I'm going to put a bit more of my body into it and I'll just keep using the arms. Every time, once you get used to something, you've got to push it to the next level. And up around. So circle straight through, keep that circle big, round across. A bit more direct now. Push the hip in, push the hip across. Above my head. Tuck down, whip it up, flick it round, and the switch sides. Now my left leg's going to step across. So I look over my left shoulder, left leg steps round. Up, one, two. And again. Low, high, side, side. Low, high, side, side. Low, high, side, side. And then we return, so look over my left. Left leg steps across, bring it up, whip it round, side strike, side strike. Okay, now the advanced method, so going from my shoulder, cutting across, now using a lot more pivoting as I go forwards. And again, bring it all the way up, and I look at the how much I've got across myself. Then I whip straight across, diagonally across there. Again, now look at that position before I go to do the next strike. Got my knee pointing this way, I've got my toes pointing that way, my elbows pointing that way, my head is obviously still facing forward, so I'm keeping an eye on the target, and then I'm going to whip this right across to the side of the head. One, two, now look a lot more movement in my hips. My right leg's got to go forwards. Down, up. Side, side, step forward to my left, low, high, side, side. Again, once more this direction, low, high, side, side. Look over my left, left foot comes around, low, high, side. Side. Now we'll look at it at full speed. That's all the variations of that one. Okay, so now what we have is the center sequence for Bong Form 1. This is for fourth cup, green belt, two red tags. So we've got the low block first of all. Now I'm going to pull it into my chest. Push up, in, push down, side strike, switch side, side strike. And then I'm going to shift my foot out, pick my knee up, side kick. Land with my right foot forwards, spin round, lower my left shoulder, strike, step through, right arm and leg, stab. Now when you turn, the f it will be exactly the same again because your left leg's back. So you'll turn with a low block where you left as you started with. Pull it in to your chest. You see, pull it in, push up, in, push down. So block a strike, overhead strike, block a groin strike, side strike to their face, side strike to the other side of their face, pull your knee up, kick them back, chase them round, so spin round, 
strike to the top of the head, then roll through and stab towards their face. Then once you had finished, you would turn back to Chumbi to face the panel, if you were doing this in the grading. And then chariot and bow. Now you're going to see exactly the same thing from the side. So I'll go to Chumbi, left leg moves out. Step forward to my left arm and leg low block position. Pull it into my chest, so you see I bring it all the way in. So there, and I push out. I'm blocking above my head, so it's got to be above the line of your head. If it's down here, sort of on your chin, the stick is still going to hit you on top of the head. Then I pull it back into my chest, and down, block into the groin. Side strike to the head, side strike, pick my right knee up, pivot my foot, side kick, land, bring my feet close to the and spin tight, step through and stab into a front stance, pull it back, step forward, right arm and leg, and step. Now we do the same thing in the way, so it's left arm and leg first, bring it round, low, pull it in, above my head, in, block to the groin, pull to my right hip, pull to my left hip, right knee up, pivot, so let me see, I set my foot, side kick, in line with the stickers if you can, spin round, strike, Step through and load and stab straight to the front. So I go from my left hip and it goes straight forward on like a side stroke which comes across. And then you, when you go back to Chumbi, left foot up, step back to Chumbi position there. Once you talk to finish, bow as usual. Okay, right. Bong form one. So this is for the red belt. So we're going to imagine this is east. No, no, do that again. That is west. That is east. That's north, and that's south. So again, west, east, north, south. So first move. I'm. Yes. Gonna to go to Chumbi. Okay, so I'm looking to west first of all, just like Bong form, uh, just basic form one, two, and three. So step out, low block into a front stance, load it up and round, step through and side strike. Again, you don't have to do load up and round, it's just more advanced method, so you get more power into your movement. Now bring it through, low block, bring it round to my left hip, left arm leg comes forward, side strike. Look to the front, left foot chambers back and then comes across, low block. Now this is the centre sequence we just worked on. Into the centre of the chest, block above my head, centre of my chest, down, pull it to my right hip, pull it to my left hip, right knee up, side kick, spin round, Step through and stab right arm and leg forwards. So I've gone to north now. Now I'm going to spin round, just like basic form one, two, and three, and spin backwards. So I do a quick glance to make sure there's nothing there or where my next attack is coming from. My left foot at the back is going to go round backwards and go into a low block. Step round to the low block. Now you can get to see the stab a little bit more effectively from here. So I'm going to circle this through and pull back. So you keep that line here ready to go straight towards the target's face. So I step in and then drive through there. Look around to my right. My right foot comes round. This way, low block, roll it through on that side so my right elbow comes back, angled up, step through and stab towards the face, in the front stance. So now facing west, I'm now going to go to south, this direction, 
just like the basic forms. Low block here. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Now, I'm going to bring the stick round myself so my left hand's in front there, right hand's at the side. I'm going to bring it round myself to here. And then I'm bring my foot up and go into horse riding stance. Land forward, so you've got the chamber to get my foot in line. Side strike to the body. Hit it up into the face. Take it out, sweep the legs from underneath them, step round backwards, so my left foot's going to go round backwards, because previously after the side kick, strike, roll it through, and step forwards right on my leg, and stab. Quick glance. Now we repeat the first four moves again, so it'll be low block side strike. Bring it round, step through right arm and leg side strike. Over to your right. So I go pass round myself. Low block, load it up, step through and side strike. And then we go look to the front, bring my left foot back to Chumbi. And that's the end of Bong Form 1. Now I'm going to show you the same form at full speed. Okay, bone form two then. So again, just as like the previous uh, one for bone form one, I'm going to do explanation. Then I'm going to go and you'll be able to watch it at full speed. So again, same as before. West, east, north, south. So I'm going to low block to west. Load up, across, strikes to the side of the head. Now I do double side strikes, so you notice all these four stick movements, there's only been one step. Side strike on my left hand side, side strike on my right. Look to east, right foot's going to move across. Low block on my right hand side. High strike on the right hand side, side strike, side strike there. Now I'm going to look to north. I'm going to rechamber my foot so I have some power behind my stick. Okay, so my left foot is going to come in and go back out. It comes in, low block out. Then bring it across, load up, high. And then this time I have step. So right foot steps forwards, right hand does the side strike. Then I switch to left hand forward side strike. Now my left leg is going to do a paqueso out and across okay so I'm going to outside to inside kick and when I land I'm trying to get my feet as close to the canvas together to help myself spin for the next move my feet is wide apart it's difficult to spin so left leg comes over so look my feet are close together and then I'm going to bring it round and spin just like we did in bong form one the two directions so round, spin, here. Right now, my left foot's going to step forwards and then my direction is going to change from facing north to facing south into a low reverse block. So I took it up to make this a little bit easy to see. 
left limb comes forward and you can see my right hand comes round and tucks it in and I change. So I'm looking this way here but all my body weight is facing to south. So I'm looking to north, body is facing south. My feet are in line as well. Now for me I'm going to change, so I'm going to go to a lunge position and drop to my left knee. I should be careful you don't slam onto the floor. Block above my head, so I'm doing a high block, so imagine someone's hitting you here. Then I'm going to slam the stick onto their feet. So slam it down. Look over my right shoulder. Okay, and back kick with my right foot. So make sure I extend and pull my heel into it and bring it back. Now before I go to roll, you notice I bring it in and I push off with my left foot, roll through. So that is something worth practicing on its own. Okay. So look, I get to here and I push my body weight up and I push myself there and I'm, you can't really see this from this angle, but my head is looking through this space here. Okay, and I'm pushing through and I'm going from my right shoulder to my left hip. So there, right shoulder, so I've got the space through. And then when I get to here to help myself stand up, again, this is, again, depending on flexibility and ability. If you can't do the roll, you've got a bad back, you've got bad knees or something like that, just go for the slam, back kick, stand up, jump front kick. Okay, if you can do the roll, especially you young guys, most of you don't have an excuse, okay, do it. Okay, but it is a bit of practice to do the roll with a stick. Okay, so my right foot's there, and this is going to allow me to bring it up, so... You can see this position is my left foot's relaxed in that position, so I'm working all this with my right leg. Again, it all comes down to your strength of your legs and your balance. So my left knee comes up, pull my stick up, and then jump front kick on the spot. Now to help myself turn, I took my right foot into there, step across, left foot slides backwards into horse riding stance, low block, and again, bring that back and move. So I've low block onto my left hand side here. I'm going to circle up and round and across. Low block to the other side. Here. I'm going to chamber my left foot in and straight forwards into a front stance with my left arm and leg forward. Now this front stance is meant to be low. So load, foot in, drive forwards and stab. So bring it out, foot to the floor, try and keep your toes as forward as much as you can, but I am lower than normal, back to Chumbi, there, and then that's the end of bong form two. Now, at full speed, here we go. Okay, and that is everything you need in terms of stick work up to black belt. Okay, after this grade, you would have knife form one that you would need for your actual black belt test. So, um, remember, start at the basics. If you're not sure, start at the basics. Don't be afraid to keep going through the basics. Once you get more and more used to it, you can build up your ability to do uh, the more advanced moves and then once you've got all the basics down then start the forms okay you're better off getting really good with your basics get that foundation correct then move on to your f getting getting down with the forms if you can't get your basics right then you're going to struggle to do most of the main moves of bong form one and then especially bong form two okay hope you enjoyed that uh, again keep practicing keep training uh, keep yourself motivated and uh, again send me some videos so I want to see what you guys are working as well okay thank you very much thanks Sue